I always give away too much. It's like I've got no sense of time. Good morning, guys. I hope we're all doing well. Today's video, as you can see from the title, is going to be something a little bit different. And you all really liked the video where I planned my outfits and I've done other ones that are just different variations of like decluttering, organization etc so i thought today i would do a little bit of a wardrobe maintenance now i don't really know what that's going to entail yet i just know that my wardrobes are really messy they need a bit of a clear out there's so many things in there that need ironing debobbling they've got holes in them that need stitching up random bits like that that i just know certain items need to be worked on shall we say and there's probably a few things that need to go in the wash that got like makeup on them and stuff where i've just chucked them in the cupboard to get them out of the way so today we're going to go through and we're going to try and clear out all of the wardrobes get everything back to like really good working order again, make sure everything's hung up properly, etc. like in the right place in the wardrobe because a lot of it is just kind of thrown in and not folded. So stuff like that, we're gonna jump straight in. I think I'm gonna start as always on the far wardrobe, which is where all of my blazers and my shirts and everything are. Blazers I know are a bit chaotic at the moment, so I just wanna like make sure they're buttoned up. Shirts and dresses, I know there's quite a few that need a bit of steaming or ironing. So it's gonna take me a long time, but I'm gonna feel so good when it's done because a lot of these things don't get worn because they're not ironed or steamed and I can't be bothered. So while I'm in the mood, we're just gonna get it done. I'm gonna pop on some kind of TV series while I do it to keep me going and just stand here and iron, like my mum used to do every Sunday, just stand and iron in front of like an EastEnders omnibus or something, but <sighs> wish me luck because I think it's gonna be a long day. Okay, let's go with the lasers first. Some of them aren't even hung up, so I need to get those hung up. I just wanna make sure that like all of the blazers are on wooden hangers and they're all done up at the front just because it's the easiest way to do it and then they hang really nicely as well and just like unfolding cuffs etc okay this one needs a different hanger yeah. i'm always pushing things too far two five six ten drinks at the bar no boundaries i get too close no little by little here because i get my this one needs a wash it's got a little mark down the front so we're gonna pop her in it says wash it inside out so just turn her inside out and get it in the wash i've had this one for a really long time and i keep putting it back in but i just honestly never wear it so i think i might keep it to one side as a potential sell because honestly i love it so much and i love the color but i just really don't wear it i'm actually going to take this one out because some of my bits that are much more like party wear for example this I'm gonna pop into one of the boxes up the top because I just, I'm not gonna wear this again till next party season. Likewise, the bits that are hung up here, these are bits that I've recently had dry cleaned that I know I'm just not gonna wear. I do actually rent out some of my stuff if you're interested on buy rotation. The username on there is Jess M Shepherd, same as Instagram and stuff, but I rent out some of my little bits and pieces like this dress or this pajama set because honestly, I'd rather rent it out and it gets some life than it just sit living in my cupboard, never getting worn. And also it's a nice little bit of extra cash as well. So if you have anything lying around your house that's a little bit more than a hundred pounds, I think a hundred pounds is the limit but it's a really good way of renting out your wardrobe, giving it some life, earning a bit of extra cash. And just, yeah, it's quite a handy little thing to do, to be honest. I think I might use it as a service when it comes to like weddings and stuff as well. If something I've got isn't appropriate, I'm just gonna rent something because I'd rather rent it for like 50 quid than buy it for a hundred and something and never wear it again. I'm going to save up all of the bits that need to be ironed on this rail for each wardrobe because I think actually this one kind of needs a wash I think it looks a bit grubby maybe it needs to go in the wash first I think we'll put her in the wash instead and here is my current to be washed pile okay that's all the blazers back in I realized I had two black blazers and I absolutely do not need two plain black blazers so we're going to sell one because they're basically the same fit and I just don't need two so we've got <laughs> definitely ironing the white ones they look very worse for wear. This one doesn't need ironing. She's definitely not gonna need it. Needs an iron, definitely needs an iron. Oh my God, this is just getting worse by the second. They all need an iron. I feel like a 50s housewife ironing all these shirts. I think 
to be honest most of them need a little that one needs a steam but most of them need a go over and then these ones can be popped back in because they are completely fine they just need a button or two doing up so that they don't fall off the hangers as i'm having to wash 95 percent of the shirts i think it's only fair that we move on to another part of the wardrobe which is my dresses and then we've got tops so this is kind of my main wardrobe the other one over there is more jumpers and like jeans and stuff this is where most of my stuff is kept so we've got a lot of dresses in here and to be honest like i said with the other ones a lot of them are kind of party focused and i probably won't wear too much in summer so we're going to pop them all into hiding because they kind of live up the top like these boxes up the top one is scarves and stuff one is summer bits and one is like party stuff slash seasonally things so i think for the most part they're going to go up there i'm just not going to wear them until we get back to that time of year again so there's no point having them out this one is actually too big so i might sell this because this would be a really good era's tour outfit for someone but it's from mage and it's gorgeous it's just too big for me it's like a really nice chain dress so i'll pop that one on vintage because i know i'm never going to wear it if it doesn't fit this is a maxi so it can actually be hung up in the other wardrobe you see what i mean we've got all the sequins from christmas that can go in tidy make way for the summer bits to come out in a couple of months i don't think i'm going to do it right now i think we'll have a separate video of that in a couple of weeks time but for now all of the sparkles are coming out okay the rest of the dresses the black one is knitted so that can stay in but a lot of these are kind of ribbed or whatever so they don't need an iron however we do have a couple that look like they could do with a bit of a go over i know it might seem silly to go through and like iron all of my dresses and stuff but i just think it's so much nicer when you go into your wardrobe and everything is ready to wear rather than going in and being like oh well i've got to iron that to wear it or i've got to iron that to wear it i'd rather just go in and know that everything is like ready to go you know so i think we're just going to give them a once over make sure my waistcoats are done up i see no limits in the sky no little body. I think where I've got a couple of matching sets, like I've got a waistcoat that matches these and I've got the trousers on here, I'm going to take them off and put them on my trouser rail so that I can wear them separately because I absolutely forget that I've got matching bits until I wear them as a set and I could wear them separately. So we're going to take them into consideration and separate them up in the wardrobe. Now where do dungarees live? This is my issue. I don't know where to put these. I think I might put them with my long hanging bit because one part of this wardrobe is long and then the other side is like drawers and stuff. So I think I might hang them in like the long bit, especially now some of the coats are going to be coming out. I can just put them in there and it'll be a bit easier. No, no, got stuck on working on myself. Thought I was wrong and needed help. But I'm just different something. Different. Okay, I'm going to give these a quick sort through. This is just underwear and socks and stuff. I just need to organise those. I'm not going to do that bit on camera. And then I've got these, which is gym stuff. So we'll do that in a second. And then this is my trousers. So I'm going to... I haven't put these away. These are the ones I just said to you that are going to go on here. But I've just plonked them on top so that I can sort everything else out before I add them and stuff. So just saving myself a bit of time. So I'm going to go through and make sure that these are all kind of ironed and fine. Because I know for a fact there is a striped pair that desperately need an iron. So I'm just going to make sure these are all good. But I'm just different something else. No little by little here. Cause I get like a really silly thing to say but i don't actually know whether to hang my flares on here because technically these are trousers and i wear them as trousers but they're also like active wear so i don't know whether to just find a spot where i can put things that are like this kind of vibe somewhere a bit more like practical so i might keep them to one side and then if i can't find anywhere i'll put them back in <laughs> right my leggings and my gym bits i have a lot of leggings and shorts most of this to be fair is like things I've collected over a really long time or you know they have different purposes etc. We're going to go through and we're going to see what's in here and see what I want to keep, make sure everything's folded really nicely, reorder it etc. But I obviously go to the gym every single day or like five times a week and some of these are more for like running, some of them are ones that I really like for other things. But there's just there's a variation of different things in here and different purposes of things. These I've had for a really long time. These are the Wonder Under Leggings from Lulu and they've got a bit of nail varnish on them. So I don't, I wouldn't sell them because I don't think anyone, buy, they need a wash actually. I wouldn't sell them because I don't think anyone would buy them or like they'd offer me really low prices and obviously they're really expensive leggings. So I think I'll just keep them as like round the house ones. I've said it before and I'll say it again a million times. So my favorite two pairs of leggings, which you'll notice that are going in in excess. So I have 
the Align leggings, which I have multiple pairs of. I really love these. They're so, so good for the gym and for just like every day and stuff. And the Vital Seamless, I also have a few pairs of. So I've got like, I think three, four colours. And I've got the Animal Adapt in these and brown. But these are honestly the best leggings for running. They hold up really nicely and they're just really, really comfortable. So I tend to opt for those for running and then I wear the Lulu ones quite a lot to the gym. Sometimes I mix it up, sometimes I just stick to what I know. These I've had for a really, really long time. These are like my oldest standing leggings. But I actually think, no, do you know what? We're gonna put them in the other way around to try and make me wear some of the lighter pairs a little bit more because I tend to gravitate to the black like we all seem to for gym stuff. But I wanna start remembering to wear these again. And I think if I don't start wearing some of these, then we're gonna get rid of a couple of pairs. I try not to wash gym stuff more than like every two weeks. So I do need quite a big rotation of gym leggings and stuff, especially if I say, for example, go for a run, I obviously have to wash it every single time, etc. So we try and keep a large rotation. A lot of these I have, to be honest, been like gifted or they are ones that I have got from like vintage and stuff and they're collected over a really long period of time. I'm, I, I like my gym wardrobe. I think it is a lot, there is a lot in here, but it's also a lot that gets worn, so they're all gonna stay to be honest. So how I fold these to put them in the drawer, just in case you're wondering, I fold them in half, like so, and then I fold them into thirds and then I just stand them up so that I can see the colour. But it works really well for just, oh, I've made the order funny. It works really well for keeping them like nicely in there and then I can see all the different pairs. They're not too bulky or anything and it just works really well. Right, shorts, again, mostly from Vinted. These are from Vinted. They can actually go, they're too big. Same with those. These are from Vinted. These cost me three pounds. They're just little running shorts that I haven't actually had chance to wear yet because it's not been warm enough. I've had these ones for a really long time. These are Jilly Hicks ones. These are from Vinted, these little pink ones. These I've had for so long, I couldn't even tell you when I got them, the little Nike Pro ones. These I don't tend to wear as much for like running and stuff, but they're quite good for like under certain dresses and things. So I always keep them just because they are handy. And then I've got again a couple of pairs of like a line ones and stuff they are very very good shorts i just i really like them these are the i think four inch and then these are the three inch so the three inch are just a little bit more like knickers which i don't mind to be honest i don't really wear them to the gym i wear them more if i'm like on a trip or something i just find them a bit too short for the gym but the other ones are fine that are a little bit longer i just i don't really like having too much booty on show you know this camo print of the lululemon i've got in like everything i've got a bra i've got shorts i've got leggings i've got a long sleeve top like i just honestly love it so i always buy like differences of them because they're just really great and then i've got my two pairs of like strictly running shorts which we'll put at the back I'm starting to get more color in my wardrobe guys like we're actually getting some color now it's a very rare occasion that the color creeps in but it's happening and then we've got a nice big chunk of space here i might end up putting my running like vest and stuff in that gap just because we've freed up some space. I haven't actually took anything out either. I took one pair of shorts out and I freed up all that space just by folding it better. So it just goes to show, if you fold things better in your wardrobe, <laughs> they fit better. And then this one is just a chaos zone. So we're just gonna do that because it's a bit, a bit messy, but this is all my tops and stuff. So I did have it arranged so that it was like, like gym crops. So things like this, where it's not necessarily just a sports bra. And then I had my sports bras and then I had like long sleeve tops and stuff, which is like, you know, the ones that are long sleeved. However, I am going to go through because there is quite a lot here and I don't need all of this. So maybe I organise it into like what they are first. So we've got long sleeved, you're a zip up so you can go elsewhere. Long sleeved sports crop. Just give these a little fold and make sure they're all clean. Some of them I know have like toothpaste on or like I've worn them to the gym once and then just been like, I will, <laughs> I will sort you out. So I'm gonna just give them a little fold and pop them in. Lululemon is one of my go-tos for sports crops and stuff. So if you ever see me in the gym, probably wearing Lululemon or Tala. These ones from Tala are really nice. I've got the sports crop and I've got the sports bra, but they're really nice. They're like two of my favorites, I'd say, for the gym kit. I have certain stuff that I wear like specifically in summer, like short wise and stuff. And then I've got matching sets, which I really like to wear together, but I can't until it's summer again. So I can't wait for it to be warmer so that I can just bring out all the really cozy, nice little sets. Not cozy, but you know what I mean? Like the nice summery sets that we love to wear. This is, you know, like I just showed you the flares. This top goes with the flares and it's technically a sports bra, but I don't actually think I'd wear this as a sports bra. So I'm gonna pop it with my loungewear stuff because it's wasted in this drawer. And then I've got two of these. I've got a black and I've got a blue. I got these on Vinted, but these are the high impact Gymshark sports bras that are really, really good for running. So I'm gonna keep that 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 always goes slightly separate just because it is for like a different thing they're my favorite ones to run in because they just are really supportive 
So we'll keep them to one side. I think let's do crops and then we'll put t-shirts and then we'll put long sleeves. Gonna tackle ironing first and then steaming second. So these are the steaming bits. <sighs> Let's do this. I've decided to watch The Durrells, which is a new series on Netflix. Um, it's like a period drama, apparently. So we're gonna give it a go, see what it's like. I would log into Disney and watch Grey's Anatomy, but I actually don't know the password. That's a TV only kind of affair. So wish me luck. We're gonna iron away for the next like. 20 minutes i'm gonna try and get it done really quickly i've seen a lot of people talking online about indexing their wardrobe and making it like a digital catalog almost so i think i might give it a try because i've seen the anna edit do videos on it and a few other people as well and it looks like such a good idea because you basically take flat laid pictures of all your wardrobe and you can take pictures of your outfits and stuff when you put them together and then it's essentially like a digital way to keep everything so if you want a video of me doing that let me know because i think i might I might start looking into doing it later this week, but for now, I just wanna make sure my wardrobe is like, oh, I haven't even done the other leg. I wanna make sure my wardrobe is as organized and as neat and as tidy and sorted as possible and like debobbled and everything. And then we can do that another time when it's a bit a bit easier and we have everything. Because I think for now, if stuff's in the wash, I'm gonna forget what I've done, what I haven't done. And I think it will just be a bit, a bit more difficult. Ironing's taking quite a while, which is to be expected. It just does, doesn't it? But I'm trying to just get through as quick as possible. And I know when it's done, it's gonna feel so nice to have it all fresh and done and everything. So I'm persisting. I am persisting. As much as I really can't be bothered and I don't wanna do it anymore, we're still going. I think it's only been about 20 minutes to be fair, but I don't know how my mum used to do this every week without getting bored. Like, honestly, I don't know how anyone irons all the time. I would steam the shirts but I just think steaming them takes so much longer and I'd rather just make sure they were like perfectly done, you know? So we're ironing away. Much against my want to, but this is why I need to keep on top of it. I need to make sure that when things like the shirts go in the wash, I iron them before I put them back in and then I don't have to do 50 shirts in one go because that's why I'm currently doing it because I didn't do it when they went back in the wardrobe after being washed. Lesson learned. All that I, all that I can, I can be. Let me fly, let me fly, let me fly. I just stopped for some lunch and grabbed myself some dates and peanut butter, which is currently one of my favorite snacks. So I'm gonna have these and try and go through all of my sunglasses and like random bits and pieces that I think will be handy to go through basically. Like I've got a pack of mac in here. This should be in my car. So this is gonna go back in my car. I basically keep a raincoat, um some like walking boots and to be honest i actually think i should keep other stuff in there my friend keeps like toilet roll and stuff in her car just in case you break down and you need to go and like water and stuff in the boot so i think i might take a leaf out of her book and just make like a mini emergency kit because stuff like this is so handy if you are anywhere for whatever reason and it's chucking it down and you just need a coat like that's so handy so i think that's going to go into my car i found these baskets fit really nicely on the top of my wardrobe which I didn't expect so we had two going free when we reorganized the kitchen a couple of weeks ago and I thought I would replace the ones that we had or that I had rather so I had these like fabric-y ones which there's nothing wrong with them they're great but I think if I can get away with using something different then I will and I'm going to donate these ones to charity I've got a little pile going in the other room so I'm just gonna take these along and someone I'm sure can make use of it. Right, so sunglasses. I have this cool little roll thing, but this is really cool. So I got this initially because I thought it was really handy for traveling and just for like if I do a shoot day or something. And it basically holds loads of sunglasses. Again, also handy if you are like me and you buy them from like ASOS or something, you know, and they're just kind of loose and don't have a case. So what I've been doing is keeping some of my sunglasses in it if they have nowhere else to go. However, some of them I think I'm actually gonna get rid of because I just don't wear them. So I think I might make a little pile of ones to get rid of and then put some of my other ones into here. In all honesty, there's probably sunglasses going all over the house right now. I don't know where my main two pairs are, but they'll be somewhere, I'm sure. So I need to try and get my hands on those and find them somewhere. Okay, I've got loads of hair bows as well. 
Now this one's a little bit more complicated because it's got all of my caps and I seem to have a crazy, crazy amount of caps. So I think we should probably go through those as well and just clear out and just not keep all of them because we don't we don't need to keep all of them. So let's see what we've got. Okay, we've narrowed down to a few. We're gonna keep a few. Also got belts, which we're gonna sort in a second. And then we've got like satin scarves and stuff. This is my favorite vintage Burberry one. I love this so much. I got it for like, oh God, so cheap. I can't remember how much it was now, but it was so inexpensive. I'll leave my video linked in the description box and in the card to my video where I talked about the secondhand scarf finds and stuff. I basically talked all about how I source my designer bits. And it's quite a good one if you're into that kind of thing. Um, so I highly recommend checking it out. But these are so fab. I love satin scarves for the summer. I really like wearing them as like head scarves in my hair. I love wearing them around my neck. I just honestly, I think they're great. And you can also wear them as tops quite easily. You just have to obviously fold them the right way. So if you want a video on that, let me know. But I did in a recent vlog show you how I style it as a neck scarf. So I recommend checking them out if you're interested. There's just so much. A lot of this is like belts and stuff as well that I've ordered and they don't fit. Like that one's too small, but I do want to get that one taken in. The cable that I thought I'd lost for my podcast stuff. Love that. time favorite belt this is from Topshop and I wear it all the time I got this god like 2014 or 15 so I've had it for nearly 10 years and I genuinely wear this all the time it's my most worn belt and I just absolutely love it I don't think I'll ever part with this belt until it breaks we're going to use this box until I manage to free up the other one just to save on getting rid of it right now so I'll just pop this back in but it's a bit annoying I don't really love them I just got them because they were cheap for time we're just going to sort hanging things and then I'll sort the other bits potentially later, potentially tomorrow, because it's currently, uh, it's nearly quarter past two and I think it's gonna take a wild sort of hangy stuff. So let's do that and then we'll tackle the drawers. Although the drawers don't need like ironing or anything, I just, I think it will take a while. I've emptied it onto the floor and I think we're just gonna pop things back in as and when they need to go back in. So this obviously doesn't need anything doing to it, like plain black skirts and stuff, but I think I'm gonna try and make it so that the coats that are in there come out unless it's like a trench or something because I don't need them at this time of year and then I'm just going to hang up things like the maxi skirts and the dungarees and the things that need to be hung so for example like this dress and stuff that need the space to hang down I swear, I'm gonna give my I'm keeping this one out for a second because this one really needs to be debobbled. So we're gonna try and give it a go because it's just very bobbly and bitty and just, it needs a good go over. Okay, that was surprisingly quicker than I thought it would be but everything's now hung up in there. I just obviously need to debobble this one, which we're gonna get into in a minute because I need to get into another cupboard. I think I might tackle it kind of similar to how I tackled the ironing part and just get everything out and then do it all at once and just have like a five minute go through. We're gonna debobble. Debobbling is one of my favorite things for jumpers and just making everything look new again. I wouldn't say necessarily new, but it makes it look a lot better. You know, when you get loads of like piling and bobbling on a jumper and stuff, these are debobblers. These are both the same debobbler. I basically lost this one, so I bought this one. Um, but these are the Philips ones. They're about, I think, 10 to 20 pounds. Really inexpensive. They're battery operated, and it basically debobbles your clothes and then collects all the little fluff bits in here. You empty them out. Super easy to use. There's literally just an on off switch on the side. So I'm going to go through and debobble the jumpers that need it. One of these doesn't have battery, and I'm not sure which is. So we're going to give both a try and see what happens. But I've got one, two, three, four, five. Five jumpers and the coat, so wish me luck. I'm gonna try and do half of the, the coat or something and try and show you the difference, because it is honestly so good. Let me do the coat first. Can you see that? That is literally full of black fluff. 
and look at the difference. I really hope you can see this on camera. So this is the not done side. You can see it's a little bit bobbly under the arms, like pretty bobbly there. And this is the done side. Even side by side, I really hope this picks it up as much as it looks different in person. Can we see that? Really bobbly, really bobbly. And then can we see that? I don't know if you can really see, but it looks so much better. So I've just roughly done that side and now I'm gonna do this side and then we're gonna turn it around and do the back. I just wanna point out as well, it doesn't damage your clothes and you can't really hurt yourself with them. So the blade is like inside here and basically the jumper bobbles go like into these holes and then it just shaves it off. So you don't really hurt yourself, it's super easy. It's honestly one button and it won't damage your clothing. Like it can't rip it or anything like that. So it's very, very good. I really, really like it. It's something I've done for quite a while since I was in uni actually, because we got taught about like debobbling and stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna finish this coat off and then I need to tackle the jumpers. So I'm gonna put my series back on. and I finished my wardrobe declutter pretty late in the evening. I basically sorted all the trousers out and I just refolded the drawers. I didn't bother showing you that bit because quite honestly, it was just me refolding stuff into drawers. I'm so glad that I did it because now when I go into that wardrobe and I open it, even thinking about clothes this morning, like it's just so much nicer to see everything really neat, really tidy. And I know it's quite a big task that takes up like a whole day but i do really recommend every now and again just trying to organize at least and then maybe just do the odd little bit of ironing as you go i don't tend to iron as i go which is why we did the bulk iron and steam however i do think now when things come out of the wash if they need an iron or a seam i'm just going to keep on top of it because keeping on top of it is probably the best idea same with like just keeping everything organized because it's so easy when we put stuff back into a wardrobe to put it back in and just like end up with this absolute chaos Chaos. so rather than just like chucking it back in i'm gonna make an effort just to like do up a button or whatever it is that needs doing just to make my wardrobe a little bit easier to like see and understand and wear etc because i don't know if you know this fact but most of us only wear i think it's like 20 to 30 percent of our entire wardrobe so i want to make sure i'm maximizing that and wearing as much as i possibly can because i love everything in my wardrobe there is still the odd bit that keeps getting weeded out if it doesn't fit anymore or if i just don't like the way it looks on me but for the most part i'd say a good 90 percent now i really love and i can't wait to keep re-wearing into my everyday outfits so if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe hit the notification bell for more from me and i will try and do similar to these in the future because you guys seem to be really enjoying the like outfit planning ones and like wardrobe maintenance and all that kind of stuff so i wanted to start branching out and giving you a bit more of everything so hopefully you love it and i will see you in my next one goodbye guys